Good morning. Today I'm going to take a trip down to Elaine Dornin Castle and also going to visit the Culloden Moor Memorial Site. But first of all, what we're going to do is visit the Corrimoni Chambered Cairn, which is a stone memorial with some standing stones around it. So let's go and see what it's about. This is a Neolithic monument. A cairn is a monument. Um, built some 3,000 years ago. I don't know, it could be 4,000 years ago. 3,000 BC it was, it was built. A stone monument, possibly a, 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 a grave or a tomb at one time. There's a small passage under here where you can climb under to get inside the middle. That's it, get on your hands and knees. God, it's so small. I'm just inside the hole. So there was a standing stone in the middle here. Um, so that we can see outside. Probably see the standing stones. So yeah, as you can see, I'll do a little careful walk around this. A hollow monument, really. I can't see this as being a, a burial site, but definitely a monument with one big standing stone laying on the edge and 11 standing stones. Well, I haven't counted them, maybe you want to. No one around. What would this place have been like three and a half thousand years ago? What are we now? 2019, that's, if it was built 3000 BC, for, it's 5000 years old, crumbs. So now I'm off to Helen Donan Castle, and then up to Culloden, and then Fort George. Ooh, slippy slippy. Corrimoni Chambered Cairn, ancient monument. Moor, 16th of April, 1746. Face to the wind in bitter cold. Beards crusted with ice. Grey eyes steeled in fierce rebellion. No foreign blade to master the proud beaten of a stout Highland heart. The Celtic clans have band together. MacDonald and Fraser, Cameron and Stuart. A bonny prince to lead them outnumbered, yet undaunted. Flags defiantly unfurled. A shaft of courage to drive the sweet freedom home. The bagpipe sounds its thrilling tune. The ranks in line of tartan shield. English cannon pounding from generation to generation, father and son, kin 
kinsman and brother, a slow, steady advance and charge. Across the sodden moor, broadswords waving. Over the blood-stained ground, a gallant fight of hand to hand. And death at last succumbing. An hundred years and more, and no more. The final thrust of grim fate's story, here upon a Scots grave, field of honour.